Emory is one of the leaders in robotic cardiac surgery. We've performed over 6,000 robotic cardiac surgery procedures. We have dedicated teams in the operating room, in the clinic, and in the post-operative settings like the ICU and the telemetry floor. Within our division, we have approximately 32 faculty members. Five of those are thoracic surgeons, uh, five are congenital heart surgeons, and the remainder are adult cardiac surgeons. We've developed pathways for surgeons to develop specialized expertise in certain areas within uh, the specialty. We're fortunate to have a significant innovative technology in the robotic field uh, due to the fact that we've built a pretty robust program. And so it really started off from moving from the intuitive SI system to the intuitive XI robotic system. And that allowed us to grow our robotic cardiothoracic program and allowed us to grow in terms of new procedures and, and more complex surgeries. We then were able to implement the ION robotic bronchoscopic system. I was fortunate to be the first one in the state of Georgia to, to perform that. And now we have the ION robot all over the Emory system. Recently, we were able to acquire the new intuitive DV5 robotic system and that really takes the technology to a new level. In the late uh, 90s, we were trying to do minimally invasive heart surgery. Instead of going through the sternum, we were going through the right side of the chest. And the uh, robot came out in 2002. We had the opportunity to, to be enrolled in a clinical trial that allowed us to fix holes inside the upper chambers of the heart and we modified that technique here at Emory uh, that allowed us to work predominantly on the mitral valve, one of the hardest valves to get to if you're going through the front, but easy to get to if you're coming from the right side. And then that ultimately got expanded over time. Here at Emory, specifically at Emory Midtown Hospital, we have a very unique uh, complex airway program. We began it about uh, two years ago. It's a multidisciplinary collaborative program between uh, the general thoracic surgery uh, section, the interventional pulmonary team, and the otolaryngology and the laryngology teams with collaboration among uh, all three specialties. It includes uh, respiratory therapists, speech pathologists, um, and all of our patients are evaluated by a multidisciplinary team to determine the best uh, treatment plan for them and optimize their best outcomes. With our robotic systems, we've now actually been able to do a lot of the intrathoracic operations, specifically our tracheoplasties. Using this technology really changed the, the outlook and the recovery for patients with a very challenging prognosis. I originally did my training here at uh, Emory and I have seen many different types of innovations over the years in robotic surgery. What specifically drew me to Emory University was the broad amount of cases that are done here and the multiple different ways that we do cases. It really gave me the tools to become a comfortable surgeon and to have that support that I need to be able to teach my residents. What makes Emory unique is our experience with robotic cardiac surgery procedures. We've performed more of these procedures than most programs in the United States. Our technique for the robotic minimally invasive intracardiac procedures, including mitral, tricuspid, and intracardiac tumors, is done completely endoscopically. We use peripheral cannulation for cardiopulmonary bypass. We use the robot for the intracardiac portions of the procedure, including the mitral repair, mitral replacement, tricuspid repair, maze procedure, or intracardiac tumor resection. This is completed entirely endoscopically in a CO2 insufflation environment, which decreases risk of air embolism or stroke after surgery. With robotic coronary bypass surgery, we make three small incisions on the left side of the chest. We use the robot to harvest the IMA, and then we make a small four centimeter anterolateral thoracotomy through which we hand sew the lemon to LAD anastomosis. I was drawn to robotic cardiac surgery because of the benefits to the patient. Patients are able to recover faster and return to their pre-surgery activities much sooner compared to conventional cardiac surgery. We hope that we can establish ourselves as a global destination for robotic cardiac surgery. From starting with the intuitive SI system to getting the XI to getting the DV5 to implementing ION, implementing 3D modeling, 
All of these things we brought in to provide complex, technologically advanced, innovative care to our patients. So when it comes to the future, we are gonna to continue to innovate. We're going to continue to push the envelope. And importantly, in fitting with the mission of Emory, we're going to not only do that for ourselves and for our patients, but we're gonna educate uh, our trainees and educate surgeons from all over the world these similar techniques so that patients in, in a broad sense can benefit from robotic technology. Okay.